Hey WinTech Warriors, today we're going to create an XY plot object. So buckle in, it's going to be a wild ride. Start by selecting XY plot from the chart drop down list within the object tab. Within the general tab, you can name the object within the comment field. The control address section is where you designate the address used to control the drawing of the data points. Entering different values in the control address triggers different commands. Entering 1 will draw the XY data points, entering 2 will clear all XY data points, and entering 3 will clear the XY data points and redraw them. The number of data control address allows you to specify the total number of points per channel before drawing the curve. You can configure a maximum of 16 channels with 1,023 data points. The number of channels can be configured in the Number of Channels field. We'll add two channels for this example. You can configure each channel independently by choosing it from the Channel drop-down list. Let's head to the Read Address section. If Separated Address from the X and Y data is selected, the Start Address of the X axis and Y axis can be set respectively. If Deselected, only one address will be used to set the X and Y axis. Each sequential address represents the next data point in the XY plot. For example, the next X data point would be LW11 and the next Y data point would be LW21. You can also configure high and low limits for the channel within the Limits section. In the Display Area tab, in the Maker drop-down list, you can define the style of the plot. I'll stick with the classic line for this example. You can also choose frame and marker colors. You can also choose where you would like the reference lines to appear in the plot. Reference lines are the horizontal lines on the plot that indicate the low and high limits. You also have the option to have an external device determine the reference line limits. In this demo project, we've got the XY plot object that we configured earlier. We have set word objects that write constant values into the control address, and we have our X and Y data fields that will add data points to the plot. Let's run a simulation to see this project in action. I've set a value of 6 into the number of data points register, and I've got data point values entered into the X and Y axis fields. When I select Draw, the XY plot comes to life. When Clear is selected, the plot is cleared. When Clear and Redraw is selected, the plot does just that. Thanks for watching this quick tip from WinTech USA support. Check out our forum at forum.wintechusa.com for more info on our software and products.